Hello, in this video, you will learn about algorithm complexity. Topics that are covered in this video. First, we will understand basic introduction about algorithm. So first, we have basic introduction about algorithms. Then we will see how we can analyze algorithm, how we can calculate the running time for any algorithm, and what is complexity of any algorithm, and how we can find out time complexity. And in the end, we will learn how we can find out time and space complexity for any meta heuristic algorithm. So first we know most popular definition for algorithm is it is step by step procedure to solve any specific problem. So algorithm is just the sequence of computational steps and we have certain operations that is performed on the input data and we can get the desired output. So we have an algorithm that is the sequence of computational steps and here we will perform certain operations on the input data and we are doing this to find desired output. Next is algorithm analysis. First question is why we need to analyze algorithm. See with the help of algorithm analysis we can figure out how much time your algorithm will take to solve specific problem. So algorithm analysis help us to understand how much time it will take to solve any problem. And for algorithm analysis, there is not any specific set of rules or equation or any formula that we can use to analyze algorithm. For that, we can predict number of resources that are required for any algorithm. By number of resources, we can find out how much time it will take or how much space your algorithm will consume. So we can analyze algorithm on the basis of time and space. Here algorithm time means running time of algorithm that is the how much time your algorithm will take to perform certain operations. Then we have space required by any algorithm that is the memory required for the storage while your algorithm is computing certain operations. Next is how we can calculate the running time of any algorithm. Using algorithm analysis we can calculate the algorithm running time. For that, we can count the number of operations required by algorithm to process the input data. So we can count the number of operations required by our algorithm. Here we have basic operations that we can perform in any algorithm, arithmetic, boolean and comparison operations. We can check the input data, that is the input data size and then we have algorithm running time. So with the help of this, we can analyze how much time or space your algorithm will take. For example, you can see here, these are the basic operations performed in any algorithm and we have time for this is constant that is one. Next is algorithm running time. Here we have running time means cost of algorithm. Algorithm will take more time for computation of large size input data. That is the growth rate of any algorithm. Algorithm will take longer time if the number of resources used by algorithm is greater. That is we have larger data set to process then your algorithm will take large time to process the input data and after that you will get the desired output. Here we have input size. If input size is large then the running time is also greater. Next is algorithm complexity. We can understand algorithm complexity by time complexity and the space complexity. Here time complexity means the amount of time required by any algorithm. That is the how much time algorithm need to complete certain task. And space complexity means amount of space required by any algorithm. That is how much space algorithm need to complete certain task. Here you can see we have time and space complexity. Space means amount of memory, that is the space algorithm need when it is run and the time means amount of time required to execute program or algorithm. In algorithm we need time to carry out any operation and we need space for the storage that is space to hold number in the memory for the later use. Now how we can measure the time complexity for any algorithm that is the amount of time required to execute an algorithm of a particular size. So we can count the number of elementary operations performed when the algorithm is executed. First case is 
there are differences in the execution time from one machine to other that is algorithm implemented in any particular language or it is executed on any particular machine has some operations executed faster than the other so there is a difference in the execution time from one machine to other machines next step is when machine is fixed in this case algorithm efficiency is proportional to the operation required to execute the algorithm now we have a meta heuristic algorithm so we will see how we can see the time complexity in case of meta heuristic algorithm as we know in case of meta heuristic algorithm we we will find out the best solution in acceptable amount of time so we need best solution in the limited amount of time for that you can count the number of elementary operations that is performed when your algorithm is executed second is we can minimize the cost and third option is you can see here we can evaluate the fitness function that is the algorithm performance after that we have number of parameters used in any algorithm we have a note for you in case of meta heuristic algorithm if you are searching for the global optimal solution then meta heuristic algorithms do not guarantee solution within limited time so it is difficult in case of meta heuristic algorithms to compute exact time complexity next is we have different types of cases best case first case and average case if you got the desired result faster within time limit then this is the best case next is worst case if your algorithm is taking longer time than the time limit then this is considered as worst case and if algorithm give best solution that is the good results within the expected time then it is the average case in case of meta heuristic algorithm we can find out the complexity time complexity we can measure the time complexity by the number of parameters used in algorithm fitness function that we are using algorithm we can check the algorithm performance and we can see the minimum cost and the elementary operations that is performed in the algorithm if you are searching for the global solution then meta heuristic algorithms not guarantee that you will find out certain solution within the time limit so in this video we just did simple introduction about algorithm complexity that is time and space complexity so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video